Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. And I'm so excited because we're finally going to complete the PSP collection. I have here in this box a PSP E1000 or a PSP Street. And man, I've been wanting one of these for a very long time. And this is coming out of Germany. I purchased this one for about $125. So it was a pretty good deal. And not only is it the PSP Street, but it's complete in the box, in the original box. I'm so excited to get this going. So let's dive into this unboxing. And on the other side of this box, I have my full address. So I'll have to be very careful not to reveal that information but uh and also be careful not to like cut the actual box you know what i mean so i'm super stoked on this I'm so happy finally I can add this to my collection and i've been wanting one for so long and here we go guys here we go And this one was shipped, he shipped at DHL, but for some reason DHL was not liking the fact that, uh, I, I don't know, it, like the tracking wasn't working. So it, it went through, yeah, it went through some, yeah, on DHL online. I don't know why this tracking wasn't working through DHL, but whatever, as long as it's here. So I hope you guys like the setup this is a new uh office space well it's my work office space that i'm using to do my youtube stuff now so i'm very happy about that and there it is guys look at that wow i'm so excited i finally get to hold one in my hands now here is the box right there you guys can see that beauty and then we're going to stand up for this one see up there it is and it's full glory and i guess he added that let's check this out first i think i could just pull it out from here yep so i guess this is a, a case so yeah, this is a case that he included, I guess, with the little clip. That's convenient. Let's open it up. See what we got. That. And this is designed by Big Ben Interactive. Let's see. This was made in France. All right, let's open this box, but let's take a look at this beast. Wow, finally have it. That's so cool, I'm so, so happy, guys. <laughs> finally, finally. In the box too, unfortunately it got a little bit ripped, but you know, for 125 bucks, you can't go wrong. I know these things brand new and the box are going for like 500 bucks. So I'll take a pre-owned for a hundred. Alex, 125. All right, here we go. We got the original manuals, 1000, super sick. All in Germany, I guess. Now this PSP is very special because it was only for that my European guys, you know, it wasn't really made for the U.S. They're, we never really had a release for the U.S. It's a very unique PSP. What's going on here? What's the shiny stuff? Oh, these are the UMD cases. Huh. And we got our charger. This is such a weird charger. This is not the original. This is an aftermarket. No big deal, I don't care. There's another USB, or I'm sorry, UMB deal. Here's, this looks like that original cable. 
maybe or is that aftermarket you guys let me know I don't see PSP anywhere but yeah this is the data cable and charging cable very good and finally here we go hopefully this makes up for that weak ass PSP 3000 I got last week I think this will this will uh, make up for that oh my goodness oh my goodness damn that is clean there's like one scratch right there I don't know if that's a scratch or what but It's glossy to that bottom. Wow, that is so cool. What, the power button's at the bottom? Not on the side? That's so weird. Now to get a white one. Good luck, right? And the trigger buttons are not, not translucent, is what I noticed. They're full black it's all blacked out oh sorry what the that's crazy so there's no door to it it's it's on the top this is literally my first time looking at a psp street usb is right here and it feels good it has a very good weight to it now the one thing i don't like about this is that back that back looks really strange. <laughs> Where does the battery go? How do we even open this damn thing? We just open it? Oh yeah, it just opens like that. So the battery, also the battery doesn't come out? Mm, I don't like that. Because if this is a faulty battery, that's we're, we're gonna have to tear it down, right? UMD. Feels a little cheap. I don't like that at all. It's kind of fragile. But this was a PSP that was inexpensive, you know, design, whatever. It's a couple of scuffs on the back, but overall in very good condition. So for 125, that's not bad. Nice. Damn, this is clean. Does it have any power? I wonder. Nice. Oh, it's locked. How can I unlock it? Oh, just go like that. Okay, cool. Wonder what is firmware. 6.61. Nice. And this feels good. I like the buttons on here. It feels solid. It doesn't even seem or it doesn't feel that inexpensive like they say it is. I, I think the only cheap part is that back. Oh, there's the LED. Memory card. That's such a cool placement for the memory card. That's sick, guys. Damn, that feels good. D-pad feels awesome. This feels nice, too. Yeah, this feels great. How does this work? Oh, they're buttons. Okay. Oh, I see. I thought that was touchscreen for a second. There's the home button. Nice. Wow, I'm really digging this. This, uh, this PSP need. Left it fully charged. My oh, man, thank you. From Germany, too. So I can say that I got a PSP from Germany. And now... Well, one from Japan, and now I can say I got one from Germany. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this bad boy.
And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I can now finally say that I'm a proud owner of the beautiful PSP E1000 PSP Street. And I gotta say, I really love the way this looks and feels. So happy I finally got it in my collection. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this pickup. If you have one, let me know and what you think of, of the PSP E1000. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more cool videos like this on the channel. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.